So what I was saying is, if a man is putting those restrictions on me, saying, hey, you can't go party, you can't do this, you can't do that, no. He's already trying to limit you. He's already trying to restrict you because are you also telling him that? Hey, maybe, yeah, there's like those basic things like don't text other girls. You're not texting other guys. Those basic unspoken things that you already are supposed to do in a relationship, okay? But if a man is telling you, hey, don't go party with your friends, what is the reason? Do, is it because he's scared that you're going to go hook up with another guy? Maybe, and that's his issue. Let me ask, would you, let's say your boyfriend was going to the strip club two times a week, would you have an issue with that? Yeah, because that, I feel like that's already an unspoken rule in a relationship. You don't oh. go into the strip club. Well, you shouldn't go to bars and clubs when you're in a relationship. Is that an unspoken rule? I mean, you, yeah, it, it is. It, it, is. it kind it's of like is. Common, common, like, common sense. You shouldn't really be like partying with your single female friends or single friends for that matter if you're in a relationship. What is the positive ROI? Well, you guys ROI are older. On, well, Maybe listen. that's what you think in your own dating life, but we're young. That's not how it works for She's us. She's 20 and she agrees with us. Okay. She's younger than you. Okay. So that your entire argument just went down the trash. If, if you don't want to be in a relationship and you just want to party, that's, that's fine for you if that's your choice that you want to make. That's I don't do that, though. I just don't want to be in a relationship that's restricting me. I don't want to party. I don't party. <laughs> I don't do that. I just told you guys I don't but do the, that. But they're in relationships, you make compromises. There are trade-offs that you make. You adjust your behavior. Some guy's going to be compromising when he dates you, for sure. But what are you going to compromise for him? Nothing? Yeah, obviously, I'll compromise But not stuff. going out. If a man... Okay, if I want to go have fun with my girls, I'm going to go have fun with my girls. I I'm not going to go stay at home at 21 just because a man told me to. Why would I do that? I'm 21. Do I listen to my own dad and mom? You not really. Should. Not you really. Should. So why am I going to go listen to another man just because I like him right now? Why? What? Just I'm curious. not going to be with him forever. I'm not going to marry him. So why am I going to make these restrictions for him? Just curious. Just him. Why do you frame it as I'm not going to listen to a man versus just I'm not going to listen to my boyfriend? They're just, I don't know, there seems to be a slight animosity there with the, Towards the, men. the man part. But, yeah. but um, so you would have an issue with your boyfriend going to the strip club. Yeah, because even though, that's a strip club. Even though, well, I would argue that the chance of your boyfriend being able to sleep with one of the strippers is far lower than your chance to sleep with a guy when you've gotten intoxicated at a bar, club, or party. Who do you think I am? I'm you not think saying I'm just be... going to get drunk and sleep with whoever? Do people make better decisions when they're drunk or worse decisions? Well, like, there was a study no, where you, this one you, person. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Let's like, see your dance around the question. Who do you think I am? Do Answer the question. I, do you think I not like? Oh, so you're impervious to judgment decisions that are that are caused I by believe, alcohol? I believe people make some bad decisions while they're drunk, but don't get to that level. If you're going out to have fun, then you're not going out to like. Maybe yeah, if you want to black out, go black out. But if you want to go and just have fun and drink casually with your friends, that's okay. You're not, yeah, if you're going to go, you're going to, if you're really going to go drink and cheat and use, oh, I was, no, but, alcohol okay. is not an excuse for cheating, goes both ways, men and women. Sure, but okay, would, you're, if you're going to cheat at the bar, I'm sorry, if you're going to cheat at the bar, that is your own decision, that is not alcohol telling you, that okay. is because you want to cheat. Question for you, in the history of all infidelities that have happened all throughout history, do you think anyone has ever mistakenly cheated? Like, or they regret having cheated? Um, I, Perhaps when they if, were intoxicated? I don't know. I oh don't my, know. Oh my God. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for one, one time that somebody regrets it, but okay. I want to give everyone- I'm sure maybe somebody has regretted it and they lost that person and they were like, okay, like, I guess. Sure. I'm sure somebody has regretted it. Natasha, well, you want to come? Well, they regret it because they got caught, you know. Well, some—I mean, like even that. if they don't get caught, sometimes you make you cheat, and you're like, "I fucked up," and yeah, but. But cheating is a conscious decision. Drinking and going out and seeking a guy to sleep with—that's a conscious decision. Sure. I don't think that any amount of alcohol. I've been 
you know, like I've been intoxicated well past my capacity to do that and I could still make conscious decisions, you know? So I was even thinking in the, those instances, I was like, oh wow, people really use that excuse of being drunk um, as a way to like kind of justify them sleeping with other people when that's not, it's just a conscious decision that you make. Mm -hmm. Alcohol doesn't really affect that in my opinion. Mm 